about one reactor, one uh, uh, friction flow reactor. But we also have the definition of saying that when you have infinite number of tanks in series, you will get plug flow. You will now again uh, see that from the actual reactions. That is why you have the calculators, at least few of you. Uh, I think let us solve one problem, then you will know how beautifully what we said is right. So, uh, here we would like to, okay, first order reaction, again simple. First order reaction. So, then uh, I have to first draw the tanks in series. Okay, I have n, this may be i minus 1, sorry, i. So, this is 1, 2, and here I have C a not entering, this is C a n, and uh, here may be V entering, V liquid phase reactions first order, because CSTR most of the time we use liquid phase reactions. And uh, to write this, I have V1, V2, Vi, Vn, where all of them are equal. That means, equal volumes you are taking. Equal volumes you are taking. So, now we will define our tau, tau of I as volume of I divided by volumetric flow rate. Okay, V is constant throughout. Actually, try to find out what is the total V equal to n into in one tank I. In one tank, I have V I by V, and in uh, this many tanks, you have total. So, this is nothing but n into V I uh, by V by V. So, this n times V I also I can take total V where V equal to sigma of V i, where i equal to 1 to n. Okay? So, this is what is again convenient, you know writing. right? So, this was summation. Okay, good. So, this is the one, just to start with. And let us have that we have first order reaction, okay, liquid phase. And uh, we would like to write the balance for this. Idea is to find out what is C a n by C A naught, which is nothing but X A N equal to what? Okay, conversion, I would like to find out <coughs> what is the conversion that is coming out C A N by C A naught. Okay, good. So, that means, I have to now write this equation as other symbols also. This one is C A naught and coming out is what? C A 1 and now C A N is entering here, this is C A 2. And here I have C A i minus 1 and this is C A i and here I have C A n minus 1. Yeah. So, those are the all things. Now, let us write the material balance for first reactor it is V into C A naught, V C A 1 leaving, this is input, output, reaction, accumulation and this is steady state. Okay. I think I have to also uh, m of r in series, uh, first order, I can also write here steady state. Okay, so, that is why accumulation term will be 0. This is I have minus r a into that is k c a, k c a 1 into v, it is not total v, actually it is, uh, I will write here, this is v dash this is also V dashed. Now, all this equal to V, <coughs> each one equal to V. Okay? So, V dash equal to sigma of V i, that is okay. or sigma of V also, I can write all V's or n into V. Okay? Good. So, now this, this I will write for one reactor, because now each one has V, all these are equal to, I mean for easy thing. 
So, now can you tell me what is C A 1 by C A naught? 1 by 1 plus V by 1 by 1 plus K tau 1. Yeah. So, now tau 1 also I will take that you know this is V tau tau right. So, then I have to write this one as tau dash then ok sorry that one has tau dash ok. Then I will define tau as K tau where tau equal to V by V. I think uh, you make that corrections dash dash and all that ok. So, now this is equation 1, equation 2 uh, this is ok now equation. Yeah, similarly for second one this is for n equal to 1. For n equal to 2 can you write on your own now? Can you write on your own now? Or otherwise you tell me I will write. V into C A 1 equal to V into C A 2 plus K C A 2 T C A 2 into V again. <coughs> Correct no? So, what is this equation in terms of uh, C A 2 by C A 1 equal to 1 upon K tau. So, again for C A uh, for second reactor also you have 1 by 1 plus K tau, but this side the concentration. Okay. Similarly, now we do not have to write for everything. Now, it this is C A 3 by C A 2 will be again 1 by 1 plus K tau. So, similarly, when I write all this, I have C A n minus 1 by C A n equal to 1 by 1 plus Right. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Very good. N minus 1 equal to 1 by 1 plus K tau. So, now uh, uh, I would like to only find out this one C A n. So, I can now multiply all this, you know. Uh, in fact, I have uh, C A C A 1 by C A naught, C A 2 by C A 1. So, like that we have C A n by C A n minus 1 and here I will have C A n minus 1. So, you can cancel or if you want you can write one more this is C A 3 by C A 2. So, like that you will get this one as C A 0 which is equal to now I have n number of terms we will have 1 by k tau to the power of n. Okay. So, if I write the equation this is 4, 5, 6, this is 7. Okay. So, this equation also C a n by C a naught can also be written in terms of total time 1 plus k tau dashed by n correct tau y equal to tau and tau dash equal to n tau. Okay. So, that is the one. So, this equation we can nicely convert into k tau dash n equal to yeah. So, 1 minus x a to the power of minus 1 by n minus 1 this one I have written here, this is also equal to 1 minus x a n right. So, this is equation 8, this is equation 9, must be x a n only. So, now this equation for n equal to 1, what is the equation? So, that means I have only just one reactor n equal to 1 that means all these things are not there. So, for n equal to 1 k tau dash equal to 1 by 1 by 1 minus x a x a 1 for example, okay, that is all. I think this is minus, minus 1. Minus one. Yeah. I am simply substituting that one there. Yes, sir. Now, tell me for 95 percent conversion for x a equal to or x a 1 from this I am talking about 
I am talking about one reactor where I have 95 percent conversion. What is the volume of the reactor? That means, of course, k value I do not have to separately give, I mean assuming that unity also. So, I have x a equal to 0 0.95, what is k tau dash? That is the measure of volume. 19. Oh, you said 19, 9, not 990. No. Oh, okay. So, this is 9. Now, for n equal to 2, tell me now k tau dashed by 2 because n is there, n equal to 2. But now, this one is 1 by 1 minus x a 2 to the power of, oh, that is all, correct? No, minus 1, half. 6 point, yeah, any other things? Always puja and thereby and only telling. Somewhere that karna. Ramakrishna, you do not have calculator. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Tell me. Six, sir, six. Six, sir? Six, yes, sir. Oh, you rounded off. Huh? Seven How did you, I mean, mental calculation? Yes, sir. Approximately. <laughs> Approximately, I think okay, good. So, this will be k tau dash is 6.94. Now, tell me for n equal to 3, k tau dash for this system is 5.14, okay, 4, n equal to 4. 2.22. 4. 4.45. 4. 4. 4. 4. 4. Okay, so now n equal to six. <coughs> Excellent. Three point eight eight. Okay, n equal to infinity. <laughs> yeah, I know this answer, which is wrong. What do you What do you mean by n equal to infinity? Huh? You are talking mathematics, I am talking physics. Excellent, PFR. So, what is the conversion in a PFR for first order reaction? N equal to infinity means you are straight away going to mathematics. Only one person sitting there okay, thinking like me, physics. Right? So, N equal to infinity, when n, infinite number of tanks when you put together, we know that that is going to go to plug flow. So, now what is the equation for first order reaction liquid phase, uh, you know equation for plug flow? Minus Long 1 minus x is equal to? Minus k to minus yeah, exactly that is the one. So okay, for n equal to infinity, we have uh, ln 1 minus x a equal to minus k tau, k tau dash because that is the total volume there. Ah, how much is that? 2 point? 2.996. Excellent. 2.996, that is 3. So, k tau, here k tau dash equal to 3. So, what can you predict from this? We have all the results. Which one is decreasing? K is decreasing. <laughs> yeah, K is constant for, uh, you know, the entire reaction, you know, whether you have. Uh, yeah, I mean, k tau is a measure, I say. K tau, when you say, by the way, what is the name of k tau? Number? Dam color number. What is the general definition of dam color number? What is the spelling of dam color number? Dam color? Ah. In fact, there is that umlaut there, color. Okay. Germans. Dam color number. Yeah, what is the definition? K tau C A naught N minus 1. So for first order it will be K tau. For second order it will be k tau c n naught that again naturally it falls. If you see the second order equation for plug flow what we have written uh, you know just before that, that is k tau, k tau c n naught for second order. For first order it will be k tau, for uh, 0th order k tau by c n naught, tau by c n naught that is Damkora number that gives a measure. For example, what is the meaning of uh, having large k tau? Volume is large. When I say that I have large k tau, that means that I am going to get large conversions. 
conversions because no, no you know dam kohler number so i say that this reactor has large uh, dam kohler number means in that reactor we have conversion more okay good so now here coming back to this results what do you what do you learn beyond this you cannot go okay if k equal to 1 uh, as you know as for easy thing and uh, you know here i may take this one is 19 meter cubed as an example if k equal to 1 okay 19 meter cubed here so that means in the second reactor that means if i use two reactors for the same conversion one reactor i have used 95% conversion what is the volume i have to use 19 meter cubed i have to use the moment now i take two reactors same conversion 95% you know the total volume itself has become 6.9 and each volume volume of each reactor only two are there so 6.9 means okay 7 3.5 engineering approximation 3.5 meter cube of two reactors if i take then i will get 95% conversion now next one 5.14 k tau dash is total tau dash is n into tau yeah you already multiplied by 2 because in the denominator this you have so you multiplied by 2 and then you get otherwise if you write only k tau dash by 2 that will be 3.5 approximately then this will be 5 by 3 how many 1.5 1.6 1.6 or so you see now so this is uh, uh, 19 individually so like, like this with 1.6 or 1.65 i have to use three tanks in series what is happening to the volumes decreasing so when you put uh, infinite number of tanks like that what will be the volume almost zero what is the meaning Uh -huh, not plug flow each cross section no each cross section each cross section cross section thickness we cannot define almost zero not that there is no reactor that is too much approximation <laughs> okay we have a reactor with 3 meter cubed finally total volume total volume in fact this divided by infinity 3 <laughs> divided by infinity so 3 divided by infinity is still some number it's not zero okay so uh, yeah very very small one which is equivalent to our one cross section see beauty again proved now the reason why from 19 to uh, second reactor 6.9 there is here steep fall if i plot this k tau versus n k tau versus n this is steep fall from 1 to 2 from 2 to 3 not much from 3 to 4 not much uh, you see here in fact after 3 uh, no after 6 very 6 yeah after 6 i have to go to infinity after 6 is almost 3.88 total and for infinite number also we have almost 3 okay so that is why why the first reactor has tremendous effect you see the moment you say a higher uh, rate the volume should be smaller correct no yeah that's why abdul i think you know we have to really think about that because when you say high rate what do you mean by high rate so volume should be less is there anything else so many unreacted compounds will escape yeah you by definition this uh, mixed flow reactor has bypass effect by definition itself you are you, you are saying that you have perfect mixing and through rtd you can find out in one mean residence time what will be the you say this what one mean residence time not tau tau equal to volume by volumetric flow rate of one reactor okay there there's only one reactor so what happens is the moment you put the liquid continuously there is lot of fresh liquid which is going out with the old liquid that's what i explained also what is mixing perfect mixing it is not instantaneous reaction please remove that concept from your mind instantaneous reaction continuously you are feeding mixing is instantaneous not reaction mixing is instantaneous so when mixing is instantaneous concentrations will come to some steady state concentration which is outlet concentration but that doesn't mean that everything converted on the whole when i look at the outside or inside also same there are molecules which have just entered there are molecules or packet of molecules we cannot say packet of molecules which have entered long time back average of all that is 95% conversion average of all that so to maintain that 95% conversion i should use 19 meter cubed when compared to plug flow reactor infinity equal to plug flow otherwise you may think that there is another reactor called infinite reactor 
Okay, this infinite reactor equal to plug flow reactor. Okay, so in this plug flow, we have to use only three meter cube. Why? This is where the beauty of plug flow comes. By definition, each and every particle must be spend exactly same time. same time. So conversion in every particle, particle means it is containing lot of uh, molecules. So in every packet or particle, you have the same conversion. When I take the average and then again mix all that and take the average conversion, also same. Whereas in the mixing flow, I have a particle which is coming with a lot of molecules, uh, one quickly coming out, almost spending one minute or one second when the mean residence time is 10 uh, minutes. So, if it is if I take one second, it is true the moment you put uh, uh, when it is a continuous mixing, water is continuously entering you know for imagination I am telling, continuously you are taking out, you put just one drop of ink, instantaneously it will appear in the outlet, instantaneously you can check that. I think in our lab also when you go transfer operation lab there is that uh, CSTR uh, you know, tanks in series some 3, 4 together. So, you start the stirrer and then put take your ink and then you know just drop one ink, instantaneously it comes out. What is the meaning? So, those molecules which are immediately coming out, they do not have, they, they, they have no reaction at all. That is waste for us, that is bypass what we call. So, that is why when you take and, and there may be another one coming in the second uh, another particle or not one particle, many particles coming in the second second, okay, third second, fourth second, five, fifth second like that you have. And through RTD studies, we can actually calculate from 0 to 1, how much fraction of the material coming out, that is what is your E t, d t, the fraction of material coming between time t and t plus delta t is E t d t, that fraction we can calculate. So, I can calculate what is the first fraction, you know uh, 0 to 1 minute or 0 to 1 second, the next one is 1 to 2 seconds, 2 to 3 seconds, 3 to 4 seconds, all that fractions there definitely the conversion will not be much. Why? The time spent by uh, that uh, fraction is only 1 second, 2 seconds, 3 seconds, whereas the average residence time is 10, uh, 10 minutes. That also steeply falls. I do not know whether anyone plotted, uh, you have done experiments in RTD, some of you. Yeah, have you done uh, ideal one, C, uh, one single CSTR RTD? If you could have done, that is exponential decay. Initially, it falls very fast and then slowly it comes out, the tracer. Okay? So, that means, uh, last portion when I take, not much between uh, you know uh, maybe 55th second and 56th second, it is not much or uh, maybe minutes if I take. So, that is why it is the residence time distribution which is affecting the performance of a mixed flow reactor when compared to plug flow, where theoretically there is no residence time distribution, residence time distribution equal to 0. Right, you understood now? Because please do not say that you know the moment you have the uh, reactant going instantaneous uh, reaction, it is not instantaneous reaction, it is instantaneous mixing. And in that mixer, what I see is molecules which have entered just now, molecules which have already converted. So, all this average, what I am seeing as 95 percent conversion. Right? So, that is why the first reactor has tremendous effect from first to second, you will not see that kind of bypass. I mean, it is also perfect mixer. Second reactor, you cannot, that means, if you find out RTD for two reactors, we can calculate RTD for two reactors. We can again calculate two reactors together. First reactor it entered, second reactor it is coming out. right? And what is the fraction that is coming out in uh, two reactors in one minute? It will fall. It will be less than one reactor. So, like that you know second, second, third, second, fourth, second all that I can calculate. So, like that I can take 6 tanks RTD and calculate what is the amount that is coming out of this uh, sixth tank after 1 minute how much? You will not see much. So, then if I take to infinity all the molecules would have spent exactly same time. Why? The molecules uh, which have bypassed here may stay here. Some other molecules will bypass. And from here, some other molecules bypass, bypass and will go, some other molecules will stay. On the average, if I put infinite number of tanks, all these bypasses and all these staying inside the each reactor, all will be uniform for each and every 
particle that is why the residence time of each and every particle if you have infinite number of tanks in series is exactly same as plug flow. Then also you can see how this volume is going becoming smaller and smaller and smaller and finally, it is going to the size of almost 0 limit tending to 0 where the tending to 0 is nothing but volume of your cross section. I think with this you should not forget that beautiful concept. So, that is why uh, we know that it is very difficult to operate uh, plug flow reactor because you need very high velocities. Okay, what are the Reynolds numbers? Theoretically infinite, theoretically infinite, but practically when you want to see that flat velocity profile which confirms that all the particles are moving at the same speed that you know flat velocity profile you need around 40,000, 50,000, 60,000 in an empty tube. You have to also mention empty tube. If you go to packet bed 500, 600, if you go to 4000, 5000 guaranteed you know almost plug flow. That kind of more and more Reynolds numbers when I am using what will happen to my residence time? Less yes. and less. So, I cannot use this system for all the reactions where we have more residence time required for conversion. That is why we go for gas phase reactions where gas phase reactions uh, reacting time is seconds, 10 seconds, 15 seconds, 20, uh, 30 seconds like that. Even then you have there 1 kilometer, 2 kilometer length they putting like this, like this, like this, like this. I am not exaggerating that kind of length will be there. So, if you go to real uh, you know maybe uh, no seal that kind of solid uh, chemical engineering uh, uh, industries you will have this kind of lengthy reactors for plug flow. See now how beautifully it has come out you know the series reaction. So, that is the reason why because plug flow is not practical most of the time we try to use 4 reactors, 5 reactors where mixing you can guarantee temperature control is beautiful absolutely no problem. And not only that, again you know this is what that expansion of the mind should come. You should think also, we, we talked about isothermal system, right. So, that means, even though the concentration is high here, okay, high here and uh, when compared to this one, the rate of reaction will be high here, because concentrations are high. On the average again I am talking and here the concentration has fallen, right, but how do I increase the rate here? See, for this alone, you can have a separate temperature control. You can supply separate heat for this alone because outside jacket, now I will maintain this is at uh, 60, 60, uh, maybe 75, uh, 90, 120, like that, you know, you are trying to compensate now through temperature the rate of reaction more. Then again, the total volume will be less. But only thing is, you have to see, I mean, it is not that easy. You have wonderful ideas, but practically everything is measured in terms of paisa money. It is temperature sensitive means beyond certain things you cannot go. Temperature sensitive means what temperature you are talking? 200, 300, 400? No, sir, if it is occurring at room temperature, if it is temperature sensitive at 40 degrees. What temperature? 40 degrees. You cannot use. That is all simple. That is why CSTRs uh, in uh, biochemical, they cannot use. Right? If they use, it will be 30, 35, 36, 37, 38 like that only. Because may, maybe 40, 45, many microorganisms will die, you know. Yeah, if the temperature is 50, 40 and continuously you are exposed there, that is all, Margaya. Okay, that is all finish. <laughs> okay. So, that is why if the temperature is sensitive, we have to use our brain. Okay, this is temperature sensitive, I cannot use beyond this uh, temperature. That is very simple question to answer. So, that is how you can also try to compensate and Wallace book gave that kind of problems. W A L A, Wallace. Uh, the kinetics for chemical engineers also that is the title you know that he has given I think you know he has given I think 4 or 3 reactors if I remember correctly. So, in each reactor the temperature is different 15 maybe 30, 45 like that. So, now you that means K will change in each and everything concentration whatever we lost through K we are trying to gain it. Now, I think uh, the series uh, 1 next one is combination of reactors I think you know it is only some very simple thumb rules are there. That is why if you go to really very, very high level, everything looks very simple for you. In combination of reactors, how many ways you can combine reactors? Let us say, I have only plug flow reactors. For 
first of all why should we combine reactors it's a stupid thing you know huh? yeah. to increase conversion to increase conversion you could have designed in the beginning itself no why again adding another reactor so volume decrease let us say we have pfrs first that which is the temperature sensitive he is telling na huh? in that case we can mane uh, combination of the reactors we can do in some case if it is what is the use i am getting more volume only that i can design one reactor we can sir control the temperature why do you want to combine i mean even at a control temperature only at one temperature uh, isothermal conditions all the reactors are there why do you want to combine reactors huh i think partially our answer is right if i want to increase conversion already existing okay maybe uh, 100 meter uh, length or diameter maybe 2 inches of your plug flow reactor is already existing right so that is giving me 90% conversion but someone tells me no 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 i think 90% conversion so another 10% waste is there i don't expect uh, you know i don't uh, take by your product so it should be maybe 3% only you should have the other uh, unconverted uh, reactants and all that then what do you do you don't have to design again a whole new reactor okay so then you can add reactor where do you, how do you add where do you add this you can put parallel you can put series you tell me i mean why different different what do you mean by different different there are only two different one is either series or other one is parallel any other way you can combine cross current also you can put but that will not happen here for as cross current will come later i will tell you where okay so either series or parallel okay so when you have this conversion if you want more and more conversion do you put this pfrs in series or parallel series. why it's easier to really understand our real life is it to understand our real life huh? so that's why you put in series pfr <laughs> 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 will always give increase the length huh? so got a given volume increase the length so that maximum conversion will be yeah but uh, even uh, by increasing length what do you get maximum conversion volume will be Yeah, I mean, answer is right, but I think correct word, correct word. Huh? More time the molecules will reduce. Exactly, more residence time. So you are you by putting in series, you are putting more residence time. So that is why, like story only, we can tell this. I think you don't need any. Of course, if I tell that okay, I have this much ninety percent conversion. How much length is required for going from ninety five to ninety seven? That I think I will give you as a problem. But right now, I want to. discuss all this as a because you don't need any new equation i tell you there are no new equations no one words basic equations are already you learned but only thing is mathematically you have to uh, you know integrate or differentiate and then try to find out what will be that extra information what you require for all this discussion so to increase conversion first objective thing is to increase conversion so uh, okay reactors should be in series okay this is general i think even cst are also same thing cst are also okay parallelly when you uh, discuss that and uh, uh, you, you you are not fixing the conversion there we fix the conversion and try to find out how the volume is reducing but i want to increase conversion i have 90 meter cube in the beginning so another 90 meter cube if i put what will happen conversion definitely increases how much and all that we can discuss later okay yeah so like that so that is why in general even though it is pfrs or mfrs this rule is correct that means to increase conversion reactor should be connected in series okay when this parallel things will come what do you mean by capacity ah so like in our language can you tell what is production capacity if you have uh, same conversion if you have lay, got your uh, maximum conversion you don't have to go with the series if you want to increase your capacity you ah series we have forgotten i am just i am just asking you when do you use uh, parallel combination is it same time like increase conversion or decrease conversion when do you want to use what you said is right but i think some technical words if you use production rate increase the production yeah increase the production yeah instead of capacity production rate can be increased so that means if you are able to produce 100 tons per day 
someone tells that no 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 demand has increased you can go to 150 tons per day so you don't have to design for the entire you know new plant you have to only put now parallel reactor okay it is only now 50 tons so you have originally when you are talking about pfrs uh, like this one reactor which is giving you 90 percent conversion so this is for 100 tons per day now we th we thought now that we can put another parallel reactor for increasing to 100 okay parallel so the, the, the this will be 150 tons per day Do both together not one both together good so what is the condition i have to maintain here because yeah so parallelly i may that means i have to again separately put another uh, flow rate and all that here right but is there any condition we, we require for outlet what is the conversion what should be conversion from outlet same, 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 same why otherwise we cannot mix uh, both the outlet why i can't mix i can always mix but what do you get Less. Yeah, different means more or less. That is the condition. That is the condition. So to maintain that condition, no one complained about 90 percent. But only thing is total production rate we should increase. increase. So that is why this also should have 90 percent. This also should have 90 percent total. Now you have to calculate back for 90 percent conversion. How much is the volume required and what are the flow rates? Okay, I mean automatically flow rates will come there, right? So this is one. Now Levenspiel says that you divide this, uh, you know, the volumes. I think he gives an example of this is 80 uh, liters, maybe this is 40 liters. How do you now split your uh, flow rates? Because you have only one stream coming here. You remember that V by F naught. This is V by f a naught 1 this is v by f a naught 2 so we have to maintain v by f a naught these two same why they should maintain same yeah you know the other side we have integral 0 to x a dx a by minus r that should be constant to maintain that constant you again yeah you adjust your v by f a naught this side and v by f a naught this is there already the other v by f a naught so that you will have if you know v only f a naught has to be changed because you are taking 40 liters here so now uh, you can take that ratio how much ratio you have to use to maintain same conversion so that this is nothing but you know you you need that integral same 0 to x a dx a by minus r a this is equal to in general v by f a naught hmm. Why we are maintaining same conversion to reactor? Yeah, yeah. Let us say if this is uh, 90 percent conversion, this is 70 percent conversion. What will happen? You know, because I have to tell sell the product by mixing those two, right? What will be the average conversion? Less, 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 between 90 and 70. Between uh, depends on weighted average and all that. So it may be between uh, 70 and 90. So that means your conversion is falling. That fellow may not accept now. So, the minimum thing you have to maintain is 90 percent only. Otherwise, any other conversion, if you, even if you go to 95 percent here, that is 90. So, again it is changing, maybe higher side, but still that is not required. Right? Because unnecessarily, you know, if it is 90 percent, again you have more time required. So, that is why whatever fixed conversion you have, you have to have the, in the outlet, in the new reactor, the same conversion so that there will not be any dilution that you have to adjust that v by f a naught is nothing but tau by c a naught so that is why residence time is automatically adjusted so to adjust those timings you maintain the flow rates such that you because you are taking 40 liters and it is available with you okay or some other uh, thing so accordingly you maintain flow rate such that you will get this convert i mean this conversion same simple thumb rule in it is not only this uh, yeah yeah, no problem. In you know. Series, the output of one reactor is input of the other reactor. That is true. In this case, it is. You you you, you don't have to put you know this uh, common point there, okay? Mm. 
but still this condition is same even if you put parallel without any touch no touch but still what should be the outlet concentration still 90 percent yeah till 90 percent conversion okay so that is what is the condition for all parallel combinations you have to use only same conversion whereas yeah here to increase the conversion you go for more i mean in series and to increase production production means you know production you can increase but you cannot decrease again conversion if you have different conversion that's all with the combination of reaction of uh, reactors if you take individual cstrs and individual uh, you know pfrs now we have another combination can i put a cstr and mixed flow together under what conditions you do that you know that for all n greater than 0 mixed flow is uh, is a lousy reaction sir suppose hume 90% conversion chahiye uh, so we use a pfr but uh, it's it's giving only 80% conversion so if we put cstr in series after pfr that i can put under pfr why cstr control temperature so v by f yeah but i think that is another constant which we are not discussing you know temperature control means temperature i should go to the other pfr also only mfr yes. so differential that really happens at low temperature yeah but later we need higher temperature to continue the reaction yeah so in that case we need more pfr then put it up mfr and mfr that is not that kind of convincing uh, reason for us because i can also maintain theoretically speaking we can also maintain uh, temperatures for uh, you know pfr also okay but i think which is convenient is definitely mfr but i know that mfr gives again lower conversions when compared to pfr correct no i mean i have used extra temperature but in spite of using temperature that cannot compensate pfr except under some conditions where it is a wonderful problem in carberry where he has done that you know under some activation energies well, adiabatic reactors uh, I, i will tell that when you come to non isothermal reactors i will also tell that under some conditions you can you know cstrs also will go beyond mixed flow reactors particularly if you have adiabatic reaction under some activation energy conditions so that is why i think these combinations generally we don't use cstr followed by mfr and mfr followed by cstr for normal reaction cstr followed by pfr and pfr followed by cstr that is not uh, generally followed but in one case you beautifully used that we need high concentration we can go for pfr the later the remaining unreacted things can be mixed in cstr no th there also you can use pfr no because no. there also pfr will give you better conversion no. But unreacted conversion will be in the conversion. Unreacted means I mean unreacted means there is still some concentration going on. Sir, for auto-catalytic reactions, you want product to mix with the reactants. Yeah, it is for auto-catalytic reactions. That is a beautiful combination. But in spite of that, we have to definitely find out whether uh, when do you use CSTR? I mean this combination. okay in spite of that still we can discuss this like for example i have this uh, reaction uh, okay this, this combination going for r equal n equal to 1 okay so i have already going on i think for some reason i have used these two okay and then uh, the reaction is going on and now i have uh, for first order reaction so suddenly i got the idea can i interchange interchange means instead of pumping this side can i pump this side that is my interchange that's all i am not changing again defabricating and fabricating and all that okay so will the conversions change these are all academic questions nice and academic questions okay so this one please derive that means take n equal to 1 constant density system and uh, you know first it is going through pfr and ideal ideal pfr ideal mfr and in the reverse direction it is first going through yeah here cstr at the mfr and then pfr okay so n equal to 1 constant density system minus r equal to kca i will simply say that a going to r constant density system r even gas phase also same because no volume change please find out which setup gives which gives more conversion for n equal to 1 
repeat this for n equal to 2. Okay? Yeah. And again repeat this for n equal n equal to half half order reaction. Will you do that? This is fourth assignment. You also know that you know some kind of optimization between two reactors. If I have two reactors, CSTRs for example, plug, plug flow will be very complicated, but CSTRs, two tanks I have in series. Okay. So, this may be V 1, this may be V 2, which are not uh, same, V 1 is not equal to V 2, right? Or otherwise, I will say that another condition V 1 is less than V 2. For this one, how do I optimize? That means, for given conversion, for given conversion X A, how to minimize the volumes? Okay. How do we minimize reactor volumes for given X A? All this you have done. Okay. I will give you a clue for this, which you have done also. So, this one let us say residence time is tau 1 and tau 2 okay? and this is given conversion, conversion is fixed. For given conversion, what will be the minimum volumes of A and B? You can do for first order, you can do, 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 do for second order, first let us see only for first order because easy to do. Okay? How do you optimize this? What is the mathematical condition for uh, minimizing? the total volume, total volume minimizing for given conversion. D by, huh? D by, D by, D by D. D V by D T. What is V there? V 1 plus V 2. What is D V by D T? What is that T? Where is time of reaction? Because you study state. The study state is always D by D T. D x a by D v. D v by D x a 1 or D c a. Yeah. Why intermediate conversion? Because this is fixed. So, if I am able to optimize this, how much is coming out of this and then entering? This is already optimal one which is entering this reactor now. So, that is why overall also you will get the optimum. That is why total time if it is tau 1. So, if I call this one as tau 1 and also this is tau 2, what you have to do is d tau 1 plus tau 2 d c a 1 that should be minimum. I mean minimum or maximum then you can calculate from second derivative. Okay, the first derivative should be 0 first. Okay, why should I have order of reaction? I can have only rate versus concentration data, because you have gone to kinetics and then you found out DC uh, concentration versus time and somehow you plotted DCA by DT and then got rate versus CA versus minus RA data. You do not want to fit this rate of reaction equation, you do not want to find out any rate, rate equation. So, how do I use this one now for design? Because these are all not new, they, they, there is nothing new, no, no, new concepts. Already what you know, I am just trying to ask. What is which concentration? I think you know as concentration is increasing or decreasing, you have correspondingly, it is simply n going to n greater than 0 type. How do I find out volume of the reactor? Plot what? Huh? CA 2 minus CA 1 divided by RA give you tau. You are, you are thinking that you are only trying to find out uh, you know using uh, mixed flow reaction, uh, right? Yeah, I am in general I am asking. 
Yeah. yeah. It's very simple, I say. Again, you know, how many times we have done that? The simplest thing is 1 by minus Arya versus C A. Okay, R X A. Okay, X A is easy for us because our equations are X A and this is again special case, you know, where constant density system. So, if I write X A, then where it should be? It goes like this. Okay, yeah. So, now for a new reactor, I have to fix the conversion. So, I fixed this conversion, this is X A F and now Avijit, Avijit, whatever you say. Okay, so area under the curve alone will give you P F R value. And the, that one will give you even two reactors also you can try, right. So, similarly for tanks in series also, this is one reactor we are talking. For tanks in series, there is a method of plotting this and then finding out what is the either conversion or volume. Do you remember that method? What Savita last time? This you know, no? This is no, this is why? All uh, design expressions, what do you have? Yeah, V by F naught equal to integral D x A by minus R A. So that's why area under the curve is nothing but D x R A by Sir V by F Sir V by This is the area. That is equal to nothing but V by if it is plug flow. So, then if I take, because this equation say already you know, but the only thing is that connection should come. Not able to follow still? Yeah. So, now if it is continuous, I mean a mixed flow reactor, all this because this one is only P of R, okay, this is P of R and this one is uh, M of R. Okay, yeah. So this will be representing V by F naught because that equation itself is rectangular. How do you know it is rectangular? Yeah, V by F naught equal to X A by minus R A, right? So why one by minus R A I am taking as Y? So, this is nothing but y into x a. So, this is y and this is x a. So, this versus this will give me the area that also gives. Ah, now uh, tell me. Shahid. Regarding this x a, x a, uh, I think uh, with c a and minus r a data only given, I do not think you can find x a. C and? Only C and minus R A data given. Uh -huh. Because the assignment one, for example. Why, why, why? Why, why, why? Because you need C and not, right? See, for example, if you want C and not, you have to go to differential method and then you have to collect the order. Where is C and not here? Give you C and not. C and not is the first one. No, where is C and not here? So, for conversion, X A, plotting minus one by R A to X A. You need for X A, like C A is equal to C and not 1 minus X A, right? X A, you are fixing, I say, because when you are finding out area under the car, what is the meaning? You are finding out volume of the reactor. So, to find out volume of the reactor, you should know conversion. Conversion means C A. Either one, either this or that. No, C A is, because for example, uh, in assignment 124, problem number 24, the same question is given. C A and minus R A data is given. Their order is not mentioned. Order is not required. Yeah. Order is not required. Mm -hmm. But for example, if only minus R A and What is the problem? What you have to find out? Uh, for example, if you are finding this volume kinds of things. No, no. What is given in that problem? It is about rate of the reaction. The problem is about rate of the reaction. For example, no, if I am correlating with this. Answer. No, no. You see, in that problem when I give, there must be some object, you know, find volume, find conversion. I will read the problem. Nothing is given. No, I will read the problem. Uh -huh. If minus R A is point, if, if minus R A is 0 0.2 moles per liter, Second, when C A is one mole per liter, what is the rate of the reaction when C A is ten moles? Oh uh, no! I think uh, you know, I am not talking about what you are talking about. One point. Only one point. You are talking about one point. I am talking about if you collect data C A versus minus R A, how do you use that for reactor design? That is what my question. So there, the answer is that you know you cannot find out. That's all. You cannot find out. It's only one point. So, answer is known to us because I think you know 
some data of Levin spiegel problems you cannot find out you have to say that you know he also gives uh, for order of reaction where a plus b going to something okay what is the order of reaction he asks you can't say unless otherwise you mention whether it is elementary so again you know he wants to provoke you that's why i also want to provoke you i gave that uh, questions and then you know this one point answer for that is you cannot find out but i am not i, mean, I thought you are asking something great about this you know uh, ca minus r and that's why i was asking unless xa is given how do you find out volume okay you are talking about one point where i am talking about a process where how do you find out uh, you know volume without even finding out what is the rate of reaction okay yeah and this is one thing the other thing is that you have the rate versus again same thing this side we plot rate versus ca it is not 1 by 1 by minus ra it is simply this okay so now when you have the same kind of data we can also find out what is the conversion if you have 2 to 3 re reactors in series 2 to 3 tanks in series or otherwise given conversion what will be the volumes combinations you know how to do that again same equations it is only nothing new it is only you know expansion of the brain that's all nothing else okay i think uh, someone was telling that how equal to ca not minus ca by minus ra is the equation for mfr correct huh? please check v by fn not and all that we checked right so this is the equation what you get the same thing can also be used uh, to find out uh, you know the volume and also if i have another one this is tau 1 tau 2 equal to this is ca1 ca1 minus ca2 this is ra1 ra2 okay what we do is we try to arrange this equation 1 by tau 2 equal to minus ra1 by ca0 by yeah yeah this is the one so that means i have to draw okay i have to start here ca not yeah 1 by tau 1 oh sorry yeah that's okay yeah 1 by tau 1 yeah so this is the one this is ca not okay now if i draw a line here this is ca1 okay Oh, this is negative slope. Yeah, this is negative slope only, no? That is okay, minus. That is okay. I mean, shape itself will tell you it is negative. If it is positive like that, it will be oh, that is fine. So similarly, if I have the same thing, go like this. So this is C A. Two. This is CA three. So this slope is nothing but I have uh, you know this minus R. This is minus R. That is this minus R A one, and this one. This is the slope. This is the slope. Right. So again, you know what I am trying to say there is that we have not uh, learnt any new equations using the same kind of equations. How are you manipulating so that you can get this kind of thing? but it is very easy if i know volume of the reactor first and then to find out conversions yeah but it is very difficult for me to go the other way that means if i know ca3 i have to now find out three reactors so that means by trial and error you have to draw the slopes by trial and error then only you have to come here each time you have to draw a slope and then draw these lines and then see whether you are coinciding with ca3 or not so Uh, easy problem is knowing volume that means knowing tau and finding out conversion that is easy you have to write, write somewhere knowing tau getting conversion is easy in this problem but difficulty is knowing conversion finding out tau by trial and error you have to go by trial and error one has to go now ah, slopes slopes you have to change such that finally you end up here with ca3 okay yeah I think it is full we will <laughs> we will discuss later